Great day, family. Great day. We are back again. You already know how we did it earlier today. We just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out to join us on this particular hour, your hour of power here, your midday hour of power with us on this great, beautiful afternoon. If you are listening, that means that somebody out there is not listening. So what I need you to do, family, is just tap that individual on the shoulder at w and tell them to tune in live at www.wbok1230am.com. Calm, family, and if you are one of the beautiful members out there who just love to have the phones in their hand or just, you know, just want to hear something going on cool inside your car, tell them to download that app. Y'all already know what I'm saying, WBOK 1230 AM. Um, that's a Google Play, or you could do it on your iPhone for all my iPhone listeners out there. Y'all already know how to get it go. And so we had amazing, amazing information earlier today. And although I guess had to, to leave for a quick second, you can still ask those questions at 504-260-9265, 504-260-9265, family. So we just want to say thank you so much for joining in with us on this beautiful day. And so there was so much information that was given earlier today, and I just want to make sure that you guys were able to get some of that information again, um, because we did have new listeners that joined in with us. And so for those people who have just joined joined in with us on today, we just want to say thank you for taking that time out too, because um, you could be doing anything. And then also for the second half of this beautiful show, I grabbed my partner from downstairs, um, Brother Peter. Y'all already know who this brother What's is. What's up, family? <laughs> Speaking of Mike, what's up, fam? There doing we go. Yeah, all, all right. right. Yes, hey, indeed. there we go. And so we just want to make sure that you get that information. So if you are joining in, we just had with us inside the studio the New Orleans Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. And they are promoting us um, and giving us information based on minority-owned businesses. And so, family, this is what we need to do. We need to go to the website for all my New Orleans family. We need to go to the website, www.norbchamber.org. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I wanted to what com- want? compliment us on as a community, man? It's, 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 it's so fly. I'm, I'm listening to the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm in the car and I'm now upstairs or whatever listening to the show. And they have a, a, a sister that's the executive director of an organization about business. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so oh, yeah, she's bad. And then she she big up in the young brother she's who's bad. doing phenomenal things to the community. So you got a young black man that's handling business like the brother was and then you got a sister doing her yeah. thing. Yeah. I want to salute you. Yeah, good you know thanks. We're doing our thing as a community. We, we are definitely moving forward and it's many, many more of us doing that but they're just not necessarily highlighted. Mm. We mm. always see kind of like the negative images of what we got going on in our community but there's right, so right. many positive things that are happening and so Today, this morning, was a prime example. The young brother, he was so quiet and he was so sweet, but he had, I'm pretty sure he, he got numbers in the bank. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But um, we will definitely be highlighting both, not only Ms. Kalisha from, who's the executive director of the New Orleans Regional Chamber, um, Black Chamber of Commerce, but we also want to make sure that we seek out, um, when, we, when we do get those grants and when we do get those business, the business opportunities that allow us to build, that we're seeking minority-owned businesses, you know what I'm saying, to be able to continue to sustain in our community, you know? And so that's really important. And so we want to make sure that you do that. All the information that you guys receive today is free. If you have any questions, make sure that you hit us up with those questions. Um, for my family who is listening, who is not in the New Orleans area, or for my family who is in the New Orleans area and you don't think that this organization might not be the best, which they are the best, there are other organizations that are out there too that can help you with that. So my family, like in Savannah, I see you guys out there. Um, Arizona, all of my people who are near and far, there are organizations out there where you are that do the same thing as the as the New Orleans Regional Black Chamber of Commerce here in the city. So please seek out those, seek out those businesses that can help you sustain so we can sustain our communities because it's a lot going down economically. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? For real. And as business owners ourselves, um, I know Peter has a landscaping business himself and then I have a nonprofit and a um, kind of like a, a, well, a holistic wellness um, and educational uh, for-profit business. It's imperative that we learn as small businesses how to keep ourselves together, how to keep our books, how to find people who are going to be for us and not against us, and how to come to the table. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Ms. Kalisha stated that we're 40 years in. 
we're just 40 years in coming to the table and like an economic table, like the corporate table mm. as black Americans. And mm. so we just want to make sure that we are definitely getting the information. So when we get to the table, we can always stay at the table. Yeah, you got a difference between making money and doing business. Oh, tell what the difference is, brother. You know what I'm saying? I had to learn that kind of whole way because as you make money, you have to know what to do with money when you have a business to maintain and operate. You know, it's totally different than when you get a check. A check that's pretty much for you to do what you need to do. So when you work for other people, you put your hours in, you do your time, you get your check, and you can yeah. get on it and do whatever it is that you need to do on a personal level. But when you run the business and you receive those funds, as a business owner, you don't get paid all those funds you receive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to put yourself on a salary and things of that nature. So I know for me it was a, it's a difficult experience transitioning from you know a, a, a world where they pay you to do your work and then actually where you are receiving money to fund your business. Yeah. It's a whole different mindset. So what I what I'm interested in, in is um and I've been talking to a few educators at making entrepreneurism a, a, a subject that young children like in elementary school can yeah. be exposed to. Definitely. So they can learn the sciences behind it, you know what I mean? Definitely. I was listening to this this program. It was it was called The Shame of Harvest and I believe it was done in the sixties, like from fifty eight to nineteen fifty eight to nineteen sixty. And they were talking to uh people who were harvesting uh, anything from strawberries to different berries, just different uh, fruits and vegetables and other 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 things, you know, in, in, in maybe, I want to say, a two or three state area. Yeah. And they would go from state to state. I mean, if we know our history, we understand what people did, but the way they, and it was a CBS special, I want to say, uh, ABC, CBS, whoever did it, but like I yeah. said, it was in 58 to 60, uh, to 60. And they were asking people who, who were uh, actually doing the work and doing the harvest and how they felt about, the, the future, like, do you want to continue to do this sort of work, you know, because it was ridiculous, man, that they had some families, you know, some, I guess they were privileged, they had yeah. vehicles that they would load their, their family up and they would go 1,500 miles from one state to another state, depending on what was in harvest, and oh, wow. they would live yeah. under trees, they would pitch tents, you know, and they had children with them, so during those times, they had schools set up to accommodate the children during the off-season, the off-harvesting season. Yeah. And, you know, they would talk to the people and say, how, how do you feel about your, your future? Do you want to do this kind of work? Yeah. And one lady was like, no, you know, I, I don't. I mean, I, they, they'll work for months and come home with a dollar or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, but but that's why it's important that it we so teach crazy. our kids. Like and like it, you said, the entrepreneur piece coming in at such a young age. And to wrap this up, you know, to make a long story short, what what the point of the conversation was, that or me bringing this up, but when they asked the lady that she want to do this, she said no. She said, uh, well, do you believe that you'll be able to do anything different in the future? And she said, no. You know, and then they asked another person. This is a black woman. They asked, and they asked the white man, do you see, what do you want for your family? He put this thing out for his family, wanting him to be stable, want his children to get education, mm. to be able to hire a house. But they wouldn't buy houses because you're going to live in your house for so many mo weeks because yeah. it's time to go to another area, right? Yeah. So they said, do you see yourself doing anything different? He said, not at the rate that I'm going. So one thing that we have to deal with, and, and we talk about that a lot on WBOK, is a mindset to acquire wealth, the mindset to be successful. Yeah. We have to change and shift our mindset to believe that we can be wealthy people. We yeah. can be, you know, it's okay to, to believe, even if it's not in front of us, even if we don't see necessarily how we're going to achieve these goals, yeah. it starts with a belief. It does start with a belief. but that and we, act, we can do better. And it starts with ourselves and positive thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, big ups to um, Community Bookstore and Mama Fire for putting on every year they do a child entrepreneurial um, kind of like community event mm -hmm. and in this particular event the kids have their own businesses and what you do is you come in as a community and you support and encourage the young brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and their business and so I bought a t-shirt from a young brother and I think it was um, it says that uh, Colin Kaepernick, Colin Kaepernick mm -hmm. um, is the truth mm -hmm. and he made the shirt himself Mm. And on the on the sleeve, it had like a little Africa, and then it was like a ball, like a he was, well, I guess the little image was somebody shooting the ball, and he was like maybe fourteen, mm. and the shirt was twenty dollars, mm. and I bought the shirt. Yeah, I, I I mean so to be able to, I believe is when when we teach our children that they can achieve it, they believe it. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a a thing out there that says um she believed she could, so she did. Mm. You know, um, it's it's with anybody. You believe you can, so you do. Right, right, right. And okay. so, yeah, and a lot of us have been told that we can't. Mm -hmm. And so, and that's not true. And organizations such as um, the New Orleans Regional Black Chamber of Commerce shows us differently. Um, and even though it does cost money to make money, it's an affordable rate for us to make 
millions right or right. thousands first or you know hundreds first then thousands then millions but it's an opportunity for us to be able to move forward and what we know to be truth that we can have wealth mm -hmm. and we should and we should have wealth and, and we it's okay it. to think that right. you know we i think a lot of times we we feel that it's not okay like who like who am i mm -hmm. you know i think we just get content like wealth corrupts us yeah, you know what I mean, as we corrupted already a lot of time, money make you more whoever you are, you know. Yeah, and so, so it's it's just really. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad that that you had these people on. They come every other Monday. Yeah, uh, New Orleans Regional Ch Black Chamber of Commerce comes every other Monday. Okay. And so um, one of the things that she left with us today, and if you have any questions for them as well, that telephone number is five zero four nine four eight zero nine nine one. That telephone number is 504-948-0991, and that is the New Orleans Regional Black Chamber of Commerce. I, I want to say this again because we have people that are joining in with us, um, Facebook Live and on the radio. We just want to welcome you guys to the WBOK, the new show on WBOK called On The Move. And today is our Marketplace and Small Business Mondays. And earlier we had on the show, like I said, Miss Kalisha, who is from the Black Chamber of Commerce here, and she was just, it, just giving us information about how we can just sustain our businesses, how we can come to the table, how you can get those big contracts that come through the city that we may not necessarily hear about. And so for those of you guys who are interested who live in the New Orleans area, that number is 504-948-0991. But also she gave us a little flyer about how membership has its privileges. And if you are not a member, you are missing out on exclusive membership benefits. But on the flip side of that, she also let us know that if we call and just get, give our information, that we can still be a part, but not a part of everything. Or family, if you don't want to do none of that, and you're just trying to be nosy, because I know some of us get to be like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that lady she talk about there on the radio or over there. But if you, if you do that, you can always sign up for their emails um, and their newsletters that come through. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. So check it out. Don't be afraid. This is 2018. It's definitely time for us to be able to have our own and not be afraid to have our own. Mm -hmm. And so make sure that you do that. Check out www.norbchamber.com. Dot org. That's N O R B C H A M B E R dot org. And or you can call at 504 948 0991. So, I don't want to get too, too oh, off with it or too deep with it. Stay away from the button for a minute, Jazz. I don't no, want to say something. But get the jazz. Get the button, Jazz. Trust me, it's going to be cool. Okay. I'm not, not going to chill. How are you coming off from being stick and stew like this? You know, go ahead. I'm. I'm Family, my, my friend was sick, yeah, was and I'm just so glad that he's feeling better, and so we just want to say thank you. We give thanks for that, yeah, no for doubt. healing, you know what I'm saying? No doubt, no give doubt. Thanks. It gives you a lot of time to think when, you, when you're sitting down for a minute, you know what I mean? Yeah. And spend the time by yourself, you know? And uh, so what, what what I was thinking was like... Uh, what you was thinking, friend? As far as, far as, as, far as being, a, being a, a, a business... You know, we, we had an opportunity to look at our ancestors and what they did coming out of coming out of uh out of slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, uh it, it destabilized the economy of the country in one regard. When we came out. Yeah, because now they need to figure out how to do what they were doing for free. Yes. How they you know, because they weren't able to make more money off of what they had harvesting for us, the cotton and the different things and soybeans and yeah. all these things. So they still had the same price, but now they don't have free labor. To, to get these things, so now they have to figure out how to reposition and restructure the whole economy. And while they were doing that, we were busy about building our own cities and institutions and business, you know, businesses and things to sustain our own existence. Yes. So we find ourselves in a similar situation, but the, the the difference we have now is the benefit of hindsight and the benefit of our ancestral memories. We could look and see, like, okay, so the government shut down. That's totally different than saying that we cut off from our ancestral blessings uh, and our ancestral guidance. Uh, we cut off from God, you know, just to yeah. simplify the, the con conversation. We still have the ability to produce and sustain our own existence regardless to what this government is going through. And I think that message is, is coming out so much clearer now. You, you understand for, what I'm saying? For who? So for those, so... There are a lot of people, and we do use the term um, ancestral a lot on this particular show because that's one of our one of our beliefs and something that we hold dear. Mm -hmm. but there are a lot of people out there who don't want to hear about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so when we have those individuals, I mean, and it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with that. I mean, we, this is a, a judgment free zone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But at the same time, um, we still have to be able to appeal to those who have no clue what ancestral who, we, 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 we who, who thinks that it's 
spooky and it's you no, know we what can I'm just hear the history. Oh we, yeah, we well have, let's, let's we have use the history, history of our, our, our sojourn here in, on this continent. Yeah, that we had to at some point build a civilization and a society for ourselves again after we came over here. Yes, you know after slavery. You know, so I just want us to be encouraged during this time to realize that the the destabilization of the American government does not De sentence us determine our outcome. You know, determine our outcome. It's not the only. Yeah. Currency in the world is not the only uh, business structure in the world, yeah. you know. It, and, and we still have to figure out how we're going to have clean water. We still need to figure out how we're going. And, and one of the comedians one time was talking about the kind of jobs we think about. You know, you mm -hmm. like man, we think of squeegee boy, squeegee man <laughs> jobs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But in the world, we have so many things that need to be developed, and our children are so creative. Yeah. You know, let's let's in, you know look at all the things that we can do for ourselves with the belief that we can do it. You know what I, I mean? I believe that. No, no, no. I do believe that. We are a people that if we believe that we can do it, we can do it. Every other every Sunday we have a second line. Mm -hmm. Rain, sleet, or snow. If you if you believe you can, you will. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a mindset. We are determined to do certain things. And I think if we are determined to and if we're determined to make it, we will definitely make it. You know, and you have people who have multiple jobs just trying to make it. But if we position ourselves with a mindset of, like, or strategize how we can make a a living, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, or how we can um, live and not exist in a sense, mm -hmm. you know, and actually enjoy life. Some of us go to work from six to three thirty. Got another job that starts at four thirty, but in between that little hour, you got to pick up your kids, take your kids over to Momo or Gigi House or Popo. You know Kevin from Two Cent Production. Two cent. Yeah. Him and B Mike and Kevin. Yeah. Me and Kev was talking over here Saturday after uh after the dinner. And yeah. one of the things he was telling me was that his family, um, uh, like a lot of our families, you know, we really motivate our children to, to do stuff, you know, yeah. like, do it, put we light a fire underneath them. And as the conversation went on, we went to realizing that they have two different kind of motivations. And there probably others, but we just acknowledged there were two of them that mm -hmm. kinda is at the root of that, that light and that fire. Sometimes we light a fire underneath our children because we we desperate. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. Yeah. You know, and then and that's like from a desperation. And then other times we light a fire from inspiration. Like we want you to be your greatest. There's a, a universe out here for you to conquer. Go forth and, and share your creativity. Yeah. So we have to be. Uh, we ha each of us have to look at a mirror and determine: Are we inspiring our children and our loved ones from desperation or from inspiration? Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's I think what that's kind of ball along to because if it's desperation, that's when we work in twenty nine hours a day and yeah. we're still not making no progress. You know, work is forced time distance. So if we're not covering no ground, we're not really working. We just burning true. off energy. We we are and you know sometimes I mean? we get accustomed to that though. Shh, who you so telling, man? It's and it's and it's difficult to break that. And the way that our community is set up now is that we just kinda of work and get checked. We live from paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, it's um, that way. It is designed that way, but we can we can stop that, and that's one of the reasons why we have on the move. That is one of the reasons why we bring a lot of people and have a lot of community um, community people involved in what we do here on, on on the move. Because as a community, we can like knock everything out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's individually when when people get caught up and you got. Um, you know, when people say you're moving on up to the east side, you, you forget mm -hmm. where you, not necessarily forget where you come from, but actually want to forget everything and just move on up and be like, okay, I'm better now. But then you got a whole community that is kind of like sitting in the back like, well, you know, right. what, what happened to us? Mm -hmm. And there's so many of our communities that are like that, not, just not in New Orleans, but just everywhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was watching a documentary on Facebook is toxic at the same time, but it's such a great tool. Mm -hmm. um, there was this lady, she slept with like AKAs, like... Like she was taking it, she got she had AKAs on the side of her bathtub. She had an AKA mm -hmm. underneath her pillow, and it was like the most violent town in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And but she was accustomed to that, it, and it never dawned on her, oh, I should pick up everything and move. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. people just get accustomed, mm -hmm. and so we are just here to just to be that light for you. Um, Kelly was on the show on Friday, just inspiring those of the parents who have a dream, who have children, still go with your dream. You know, just. They are going to follow you. Your children are going to follow you. They're going to take our lead. And so, once again, we are here today just to give you that information that if you do have a business, if you want to be a part of a business, if you want to start a business, there are organizations here that can help you with that. So, for those of my people who are listening, for those who have just joined them, we just want to tell you thank you so much for being a friend and just being with us every day. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. I need you to bounce this out right here. I'm, bounce I only it. got a little bit of energy. Bounce it. I'm, All right. I'm, just I'm, do this. 
You on, you on rhythm? You on beat? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, family. So we just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this time out. We hope that you have enjoyed this show. We are going to be back tomorrow with some more amazing people. And it's Talk To Me Tuesday tomorrow, family. So we just want to say thank you. We hope that you have enjoyed it. Remember to be peace and light. And whatever you whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. So don't forget that, all right? Real talk. Real talk. Make your money. Make your Make your money, make your money. Go get it, go. Go oh. get it, go. Go get it, yo. Uh, Hit it up. Do a freestyle. Go get it, yo. Go do a freestyle it, yo. for you. Go. go. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. We got a couple seconds. Come on. All right. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your paper. Live your dream. Do what you do. Honestly, no schemes. Look, Kendra Joy, she bring me joy. We got to get that money. Take over the world. Got to build a foundation. Build a strong nation. Keep moving forward. Determination. Hey, Let's get it, yo. Hey. Let's get it. Hey, yeah. hey, uh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That dude right there, that's my dude right there, y'all. That is my dude. It's my sis. Y'all yes. already know how it is. Kendra Joy. Yeah, y'all know he joins us on Village by. Talk Thursdays. Mm, mm, so mm, make sure he mm. wasn't with it because he wasn't feeling well Thursday. Mm -hmm. but family, thank y'all so much for being who you are. We do appreciate you. We love you and catch you tomorrow on the move, family. That's who we are. Yeah. That's what yeah. we do, huh? All day. All right. Um, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. All right, family. Peace and light. <laughs>